Hey, welcome to High 45, a discussion about the future impact of this week's tech and world news leaning towards the singularity. I'm Nathan Waters. I'm Tristan Grace. This is High 45. Episode so, 20. Yeah, 24. <laughs> yep. It's going pretty cool. Cool. Uh, this week, uh, an exos- exoskeleton enables wheelchair uh, users to actually walk. Uh, I have got the Japanese scientists have actually created touchable holograms. Uh, 3D printing. And uh, last one is a look at the Australian election and all of the social media they're using. It's pretty intense. Cool. Can we kick us off? Uh, sure. I'll start with the... Uh, I-, I like the Japanese scientists create the holograms. I thought, I thought that was pretty cool. It's crazy Japanese, man. Yeah, well, that's it. It's, it's, it's an old, <laughs> old-ish old tech, I think. It's, it's been around before. I've, I've seen it before, but it's yeah. pretty cool. They've got, they've got holograms, essentially. I'm, I'm not sure how they do these holograms. There's so many different ways you can do them. But what the main part is that they've got air jets and what they do is they do like all the something something with air that it's like the vibrations and stuff the ultrasonic waves there you go to create pressure on the hand of the user touching the projected hologram and so it actually feels like you're touching a hologram like you know you can just put your hand through holograms and all that it's kind of awesome cool on this that actually records where your hand is and then shoots out like ultrasonic waves and all that but like air they got the example like drips of water yeah and it feels like you feel it yeah it was pretty cool like um, someone said on um, the comments in reddit that they actually messed around with it and stuff they said it was like cool like you know a a nice novelty and all that but you can tell it with like it felt like air they said fair enough that was pretty interesting but um yeah it's it's kind of cool where they're actually going with this that uh, so much of the sentiment is that I, I still get amazed by holograms Like you don't see them everywhere <laughs> and then it's like oh now we've got touchable holograms I didn't really know we had holograms to begin with like sure you see the, the little bits around everywhere like the spinning mirrors we had before or the lasers intersecting and creating yeah. light like, they're still gimmicks though cool. they, they are I think, I think <laughs> this is still pretty much a gimmick it's like sci-fi just said hey holograms are cool and everyone's like oh man they are cool we should really yeah. try and make them but damn, they're really hard to make. But see, it's so many things started off with a gimmick and stuff. I mean, like, so much of, I think, like, touch screens is a, is a great example. It's like, oh, cool, you can, yeah. like, touch a screen, but who cares? Like, we've got a mouse. That's yeah. more useful. Than do, you even, do you even know what happens behind, the tech behind that? A touch screen? Like, I have no idea. It's, like, capacitive. You use it to text, the, like, the electrical thing in your finger, I think. Yeah. yeah. So that just seems amazing when you think of it that way. And that is pretty <laughs> cool. Like, it's magic. I, ask me to do anything with it. Like, how does it do that? I know yeah. nothing more from there. I could look it up on Wikipedia. See, now that's the gloriousness of the singularity. That I don't know the information right now. Give me 10 seconds. I'll tell you all about it. Well, right, basically, cool. all information that we need to know is really beyond our brains. Yeah, that's it. They say kids are getting <laughs> dumber, like what we were talking about last week. I think it's just that they have access to the information right at their fingertips. So they don't need to remember it. Yeah. It's just applying it. Well, anyway, we've <laughs> gone really off topic here. Um, <laughs> Next story. No, I'm like holograms. Oh, you're done. I'm not done. <laughs> Where do you think it's going to go with the holograms? Like, um, it's starting off as a gimmick, but do you see much application? Do you see no, it doing anything? Nothing. Nothing. I what? don't... Like, why don't they just make the 3D tech? Like, that's good enough. Why do you need... Hey, this is going to come back to bite. I think... Bite I think yeah, I don't care. 3D is just good enough. Wait, okay, holograms won't be good until you get some kind of hardcore, like, mystical, magical, you know, nanoparticles that float midair and actually show you the image from all directions. Yeah, you can still but in the meantime, we're only, we only ever like actually look at things really from one direction. So you may as well just use like a typical like TV with 3D or something or a screen. I mean, like, who needs to touch a screen? You've got a mouse that does it perfectly well. It's so Touch much you. faster than doing anything. Actually, typing saying, on a screen, really, there's no really, really haptic feedback. I mean, it's really fatty at the moment. It is fatty. Fad. Oh, fad. Not fatty. But you go calling the scientist a fad. He's rather <laughs> slim and he rejects Holograms the accusation. Yeah. Well, you could actually project extra fat onto <laughs> variable holograms. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, okay. No, not too much to say about that, but it, it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah. I, I like it. I think this would be fun. Like You could get some cool arcade games at the moment. It's a gimmick, but I think it's a gimmick that's going to be interesting. Yeah. Yeah, next story. Um, this is pretty cool. Uh, it just recently came out. It's a thing called Rex, and it's basically an exoskeleton, a robotic exoskeleton for people in wheelchairs. So basically... People who can't walk, they just buy one of these. The problem is, it costs $160,000. So oh, jump change. <laughs> Easy. So, you know, talk to your bank. Um, but yeah, this guy... Is, is, your is, bank manager. <laughs> <laughs> Join me. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do it together. But yeah, this guy's actually... He can, he can actually do all these things that he normally wouldn't be able to do because his legs are crippled. Um... Yeah, this thing allows him to walk around, and it's just going to get better from now. Like it, he moves really slowly in this thing because obviously he can't be running in it. Not yet. But I mean, yeah. Not yet. But I mean, they're working on exoskeletons for the military and just all We've sorts got the of dog. I like the yeah. dog. It's on exoskeleton. 
even in Japan, like um, mm. for old people, so they can actually that's still a, do that's the that's booming industry, especially with all the baby boomers retiring. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. This is a beginning type thing. It's, it's yeah. again that he is actually moving around and walking. I mean, this is the disabled yeah, yeah, I mean, actually giving him mobility. This is science and technology I've given. Yeah, like, this is this guy awesome. can walk now. Yeah, actually. Last, last week we were like, oh, they were giving you know sight back to the blind with a telescopic eye. And they had the cat before, before the before, week before yeah. then. So there we go. We've got our pets. We've got our eyes. <laughs> now we've got our legs. It's great. Where's your god now? <laughs> we need the legs. <laughs> I, I think it's fantastic. I mean, that this is obviously you can go a little bit further with it and say that. Well, why not just add in some extra stuff? Because at the moment, they're just replicating the legs. But if it's actually there, you could do a lot of cool things. You could upgrade them, make them cool, make yourself jump. Yeah. Why not? That, that's the first thing that comes to mind, you know, is jumping. Because it's <laughs> well, a, jump, essential run really everyday fast, like, task. Lift, oh, especially like the exoskeleton with the hands. Like you can lift like... Mm. Oh, that's it. Lots of times weights. Body weight, so yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah. And eventually we'll have Iron Man suits. It'll be great. Iron Man <laughs> suits, not Iron Man. Yeah. But it's, it'll, it'll be fun to watch. I, I, I do love watching this stuff. I do like the augmentation of things. Mm. It's pretty cool. Well, uh, going to my next one. Yep. This is kind of cool. If you don't know, uh, the Australian election has just been kicked off. And so everyone's going crazy with uh, electoral nirvana. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the ABC, which is the, uh, the, the national network, the, like the government network and all of that. Kind of like the BBC. Um, ABC has released this uh, campaign pulse, which is really cool. They've got all of these amazing things, right, where you can actually track the election and see how they're going. And they pull most of their data from, like, social media. Like, you open it up to this thing and it shows you just, like, a box with all the latest Twitter trends and all of that popping up in, like, in a tag cloud about all the different stuff that's mm. happening. Got a countdown until the election. They've got on the other side the bookies about what people are placing bets as. They're seeing who has the most Facebook friends. They're analyzing like, you know, the hot or not filter on Twitter, seeing what people think, analyzing the top 10 issues. I mean, this is just a massive, massive analysis of- There's Tons of data. Yeah, well, that's it. That they have embraced social media like crazy. This has probably been one of the best implementations <laughs> of it that I've ever seen. It's, it's yeah. incredible. It really is. I, I only just found it tonight, so I've just been browsing through it like for the past few hours, and it's really cool. I really recommend checking it out. It's on the ABC website, but dude, this is just the beginning, isn't it? Like we're yeah, gonna well, see this. Well, everywhere. Cool thought. What I had was, um, I mean, as as more people actually start sharing their thoughts on social media, like Twitter, mm. like Twitter, for example, right now, you can actually go through and see what people think of who. Yeah, well, that's, that's, that's the whole point of it. Like, like people use that for brands and marketing and stuff, but mm. you can use it for politics as yeah. well. Uh, admittedly, it is skewed. I mean, the results here are massively maybe. skewed. Yeah. Well, I, I think they're very much. But up. Australia's not running. They're not doing social media anywhere near as no. good as Obama did back in. No, no, that? Well, that was it. Obama did it far better. Eight, eight or nine. Yeah, one of them. Like they're they're just pathetic at the, at the moment. Um, but the cool thing with this is, as we actually start using more social media, you you should be able to predict with pretty near certainty who will win the election. So I'm, I'm not too sure about that. Like, I, I think eventually that's going to be it, but not for like a good while because mainly like the elderly and all of that, they vote tend to vote okay. in blocks and they don't use this. Like, I mean, Damn you elderly! Look at Twitter right now. Let's just do a quick analysis between the, the two people, like the, the Liberals and Labour. 